So what all we got on this? Well, I, clearly there's the loader. And man, that was such a silent operating loader. Um, I'm, I can't tell if it's between uh, uh, the contraption that they had in the Aliens movie or uh, is it from the Terminator? Well, that's actually the noisiest part of this thing because it's got an electric pump and it runs hydraulic cylinders. On the new one, I have linear actuators that are totally silent. Oh, here it is over here. Yep, there it does. All right, well, the standard PTO speed is 540 RPM, right? Yeah. What are we looking at now? That sounds pretty quiet. How many horsepower is this? This is 20 um, electric, which is about double for, uh, for diesel and triple for gas. Efficiency wise. Yeah. So, but I mean like if it's 20 horsepower, I, put, I mean horsepower is horsepower is horsepower, right? Yeah, I put a 20 horsepower electric motor in the Porsche Spiders I built and it had the same performance as a standard 64 horse powered Porsche engine that came in them. So I'd say for gas it's about 3 to 1. So while it's... Um, 20 horsepower electric, you think that your PTO could perform as well as a 60 horsepower gasoline tractor? Right. It's hard to make a direct comparison because, uh, because the peak performance is so much higher in electric motors than it is in diesel. All right, this tractor is called the Soul Track. Yeah, it's actually the Soul Lec Track now. <laughs> okay. And then, uh, is that the solar up there? That's the solar. Yeah, that's uh, the thin film amorphous uh, rollout. They call them peel and stick. My name's on that patent. And that's eight kilowatts there. It's enough to power the whole homestead and charge the electric tractors and the electric car. Let's take a look under the hood. All right. So this is a lithium pack. 16 cells, 3.7 volts per cell. That's a 48 volt pack. It runs a little rich. It's probably about 53 volts. And uh, the thing about lithium is you've got to have a battery management system. So when you're charging, each cell is monitored with this. Uh, each, each cell has a pin here that's monitored when you're charging so that they don't go over voltage. None of the cells go over voltage. This is an AC controller that changes the DC um, 48 volts to high voltage three phase. And you can see the three, three phase. And in here is an AC, a 20 horsepower AC motor that's very lightweight and very efficient. This is what they use on most of the electric cars now, but at much higher voltage. The batteries on electric cars, because voltage is related to speed, RPM. So on electric cars, the voltage is typically over, over two or 300 or even up to 400 volts. But in a tractor, because you're going low speed, 48 volts is fine. All right, how do you make it go? This is the high-low range. Put it in a gear and it'll go. You step on the throttle. So this is a steering on, on this one. It's a linear actuator that turns the wheels. All right, this do that. Do that again. That's kind of an interesting noise too for steering. This is forward and reverse. So forward. I think it's better than a hydrostatic, you know, because it's totally controllable. You don't have to. You don't have to shift gears at all. And usually on a tractor, you're staying in one gear um, through whatever operation it is. It's a very low gear if you're rototilling or mowing. If you're loading, then you're going forward to load, backing up. Alright, what do you, is this the one on the left, is it your brake? Yeah, I got a brake on each 
rear wheel so I can steer real tight. If you break the inside wheel on a corner, it'll stay and pivot. You can pivot around it. And it's not in, and it's not a uh, regenerative brake. It's just a simple brake. It is a regenerative brake. Oh, it is a regenerative well, this brake. This has plug braking. So I, whenever I'm going downhill, it slows me down automatically. And it changes that energy from slowing me down back into electricity that charges the batteries. So if you had production of exactly 10, how much might this tractor cost? This one would be probably about 30000 Okay. The farm, farm tractor I'm shooting for under fifteen, And it won't have some of the bells and whistles that this does. It'll be mainly for row crops and cultivation. Producing food in the most efficient way, other than permaculture. <laughs> If you like this sort of thing, come on out to the forums at permies.com where we talk about electric tractors, homesteading, and permaculture all the time. <laughs>